world. Every spirit that is not of God be delivered completely in the name of Jesus. Out! Go! Live this man! Live his life! Jay! Cheers! Cheers! Be released from that bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Watch it here. Lazima afanikiwe. No matter where he's standing right now, I release you to the glory of God. I release you to the glory of God. I release you to the glory of God. There is a family there. You, you have a, a child ambaya kona issue akilimbaya. Kuna kijana ambaya kona amekuwa mental. As a mental problem. Please come out. You there? It's a family pala ikona mtoto amekuwa mental issue. Come out. I want to talk to you, sir. Who is that? Who is it, sir? Who is it, the boy? Nemugani? What happened? Mm. Alianza, alienda inje. Mm. Alitoka Kenya, akaenda Katal. Mm. So, tuliambiwa alianguka. Na vile alianguka, atukuelewa alifanyeka na mnagani. So, okay. alirudishu no. akiwa mkuma. As in alianguka wapi? Huko Katal. Katal. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, alienda in coma. Oh. For two weeks. Akiwa ICU. So, tulipata. Huko Katal ama akarubishwa? Huko Katal. Huko okay. Katal. So, tulipiki wa simu, tukambiwa ni mkonjwa. Oh. Tukangojia kama wiki tatu hivi. Oh. Ndiyo tukapiki wa simu, tukambiwa tarudishwa nyumbani. So, atukujua ni nini iliendelea huko. Hmm. Ya. Yeah. So, alirudishwa lini? Mwesi wa, mwesi wa tano. 2017. 2017. Yeah. So, from 2017 until today, maisha haki imekuwaje? Hey, ayuko vile alikuwa lakini usiku wana anaona nyoka mm. anapigana na watu anatukanana anaongea vitu mingi sana mumetoka wapi leo? kwa mlolongo wapa ok yeah. mreishi na ye mlolongo? ee hey, tunaishi na ye is your son? yes it is my son and uh, the other Ata one? Hui. is your son? ee hey, hata msijana is your daughter? yeah so yeah, when I was there, I saw that you have that issue. The boy is gone mental. We, we, we may share letter your issue up before. Eh, mean you only could you up? When? Kwa kama, ilikuwa kitu kama 2019. Itambo? Yeah. But when I touch you there, I saw there's a boy called a mental okay. issue. And go say, as I call you out, the issue is over. Hallelujah. I don't know you, even I can't remember you, sir. It's a long time ago. This is the issue of today. The Lord is talking today. What is name? James. James. Mm. Oh. So look at me. Yangalie macho. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this man be delivered. You have called him out that you may deliver him. Let your word be true in his life in the name of Jesus. <sighs> I command the spirit of mental disorder to be out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Men of disorder out of his body and his mind be healed completely from today. I touch you for your healing. Total healing from today. Total healing from today. Be healed. Be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ.
Become normal from today. Ukuwe normal, akili yako vile unafanya mambo kufikiria ndoto mbaya zote zimeisha kwa jina la Yesu Kristo mwana mungu. Na kuanzia leo uzaliwa upya. Huyo Mungu ambaye amekuita mimi sikujui lakini Mungu mwenye amekuita amekuponya kabisa Jesus name. Ouch. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you Lord. For the healing. In Jesus Christ's name. You are free. Unaitwa Jesus Christ. Unaitwa Jamu. Unasikia tofauti gani? Unasikiaje sasa? As in is kuna vile mind yako ilikuwa before ulikuwa unafikiria aje as in okay tuanzie pale kwa ndoto zile ulikuwa naota usiku kilala. Usiku? Yeah. Kukumbuka ni ngumu. Unaotanga aje usiku kilala? Nyota zitu nini? Manyoka? Mm. Zikifanya nini? Kwazi nangangana na, na mtu sijui ni mimi Abu mbe kiti ya kaya kalia Aha Umezema unaitua James mm. James kutoka lewa kili zako zimerudi kawaida So ni vitu gani ambazo wazi kufanya normally e, Kwanza unaona hii mkono hii mm. Hii hi kidole saa yuta anafanya Hata kama amelala mm -hmm. Anaifanya hivi kila saa mm -hmm. Alafu ya kitaka kuwasiliana na ya iso vitu mm. Anainuanga hii mkono I think hiko na kitu hapa ilichoro hapa anainua hii mkono kama aerial mm -hmm. akiinua kama aerial mm -hmm. anaanza kufanya hii mkono namna hii mkuu namna hii hii kitu imechoro hapa naona hii mkuu mm -hmm. anaanza kuifanya hivi mm -hmm. akifanya hivi mm -hmm. anaanza kuongea na watu mnasikia akiongea na watu anasema ana huwa anaongea na anaanza vita mm -hmm. anasema maaskari wanamonini wanamshi wanampiga Uh -huh. So anaanza kupigana nao maskari, anaona nyoka, anaanza mm. matusi. Vitu kama hizo. Mm. Mm. Hiyo imeisha. Taza kuanzia leo atakuwa mtu normal kabisa kama wale wengine. In the name of Jesus. Whatever ilikuwa imekoconnect na shetani is broken in the name of Jesus. It's broken in the name of Jesus. Nisalimie. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I hand over his life to the hands of Jesus Christ. Kutoka leo, auto wasiliana na shetani, auto wasiliana na Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Thank you, Lord, for healing and deliverance. You're free. Let's take a look at the other one. Record your time. You're free. Watch out. You're free. Watch out. You're free. Watch out. You're free. Okay. Okay. God on this altar. So let us have our next testimony from our brother. Let us appreciate him as he comes. God is doing so much. Even today, expect your testimony. Tell your neighbor, expect your testimony. Yes, God will not bypass you. Karibu sana ndugu. Tuambia majina yako. Tuambia majina yako kule unatoka na ushuhuda wako Majina yangu naitwa Julius Mwinde Mbai Nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana na naishi hapa Mlolongo Karibu Tueleze ushuhuda wako e, kabla siendelea na kueleza ushuhuda kuna kitu nataka kusema <clears throat> Si mara ya kwanza kuja hapa Nilikuja hapa 2017 Nikaona na mtumishi wa Mungu nikamweleza shida ya mtoto wangu alikuwa mkonjwa na nikaenda <coughs> sikurudi lakini wakati nilikuja hapa Wednesday kuna kitu moja nilifanya kabla siaingia hapa niliomba Mungu nikamwambia Mungu sitaki kwenda pale kanisani kama kawaida nikaambia Mungu nikifika pale tumia mtumishi wa Mungu aongee na mimi na Mungu aliongea na mimi So ile kitu ningesema wapendwa ni kabla hujakuja hapa kanisani isikuwe kama kawaida. 
Uombe Mungu ukiwa pale nyumbani umwambie naenda kanisani. Mungu enda ukaongee na mtumishi wa Mungu aone anione. Na tukiwa hapa nyuma tukiendelea kuomba nilikuja na watoto wangu wawili lakini leo wajakuja nimekuja na mama na huyo kijana. Mtamuona hapo hapa tu. Niliambia watoto tuombe. Tukiwa pale mtumishi wa Mungu alipita akiwekelea watu mikono 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 akarudi hapa. Akasema hapa kuna family wako na mtoto na ako na na ukonjo wa mendo mwenda wazimu na akatuita there is a family there you, you have a, a child ambaye ako na issue ya akili mbaya kuna kijana ambaye ako na amekuwa mental has a mental problem please come out you there atukuongea na yeye Ebu fikiria tangu 2017 na leo ni 2021. Unaona Mungu anatenda. Kwa hivyo nikajua ya kwamba Mungu ukimuita ataitika. Kwa hivyo nasema Mama asimame na hiyo kijana ndio mumuone. Kabla wajasimama tu mama daddy kabla wajasimama. Unasema ulikuwa hapa 2017 ukaenda. Yeah. Umerudi 2021. Now during the Wednesday service the prophet of God aka, akaitana that there's a family here wako na mtoto ambaye ako na shida ya mental and you came out Now for how long amekuwa na shida ya mental Okay Huyu kijana kwanza alikuwa ametoka Kenya akaenda Katal kufanya kazi na kampuni moja Alienda mwezi wa pili wa tatu wa inne, tukaongea siku ya friday tulikuwa naongea kila siku saturday akapotea completely okay na kitoka kenya akienda qatar alikuwa sawa alikuwa sawa so after kuongea na hizo sometimes akaenda off akaenda off what action ulichukua wakati alienda off nilienda kwa kambuni town nikawauliza nikawaambia nimeongea na mtoto wangu friday na nikimpikia simu tena apatikani. Mnaweza kuwa mnajua kuna shida gani. Kumbe alianguka kule kazini akasirai mpaka akaenda isiju. Hiyo ndio report tulipata. Hatukuwa huko hatujui. Lakini tuliambiwa alianguka akapelekwa isiju. Akakaa for two weeks. Ndio akaamuka akaleta kwa ward. Kule nje nje sa warabuni au kubaliwi kupeana information ukipeana unarudi kwenu nyumbani so kuna rafiki yake alienda akachukua video akachukua na akatutumia akiwa ICU akiwa alikuwa ametoka huko hapo kwa ward sasa akiwa kwa ward alichukua video akatutumia ikakuja wakati ilikuja ni pipes tu alikuwa amewekwa aisiongea aisifanye chochote amelala pale alikaa pale almost one month bila kuongea so chenye tulikuja kuambiwa tuliambiwa tarehe eh, tare fulani siku fulani muende airport mngojie kijana yenu analetwa hakuna story ya kuambiwa kuliendaji kulifanyika nini tukaambiwa anarudi na nikauliza alifanya nini nikaambiwa ngojie kijana yako anarudi hivyo tu so siku ilifika akaletwa ale aletwa kama hakuna nguo ilikuwa inamtoshia m hmm? walimunulia ile kaputi waka ukamvalisha hiyo kaputi hiyo kaputi na long ilikuwa imefungwa alikuwa ameisha anakaa kama hii hizi stand siko hapa so alifika aisi ongea aisi kula aisi jipereka kwa choo aisi fanye chochote akafika pale so sisi tukaona tu tukaambia Mungu asante kwa sababu amefika na hatujapata sanduku tukamwambia asante. So unajaribu kumaanisha baada ya kupigiwa simu mlienda mkamchukua airport akiwa mgonjwa alitoka Kenya akiwa amenona mnarudi akiwa amekonda amevalishwa nguo hata amefungwa mshipa. Yeah. Baada ya kumchukua mlifanya nini? Sasa wakati tulienda kumchukua kitu ya kwanza tulikuwa na kazi ngumu sana aisi kula na aisi ongea na aisi fanya chochote 
Kwa hivyo ile kitu walifanya walikuja wamefunga pambas kama mtoto mdogo. How old is he? Yes, yeah, sasa yuko na 34. Ani married. Okay, continue. Yeah. So alifika pale ikawa ni kazi. Unajua sasa mama yake hezi shughulika naye. Ni mimi nashughulika naye na kufanyia kila kitu na muosha. Chakula alikuwa nakula ni soup na masiwa. Sasa singine unampatia an, anafanya mdomo hivi. Ayesi kapita hapo. Lakini tulia, tukiendelea tulikundua jambo moja. Ilikuwa ni pepo. Okay, pole baba mpaka hapo. Na ali kutoka akuje Kenya, mkakaa naye for how long ndio mkakuja naye hapa kanisani? Ah, tumekaa sana. Tulikuwa tunaenda church mahali watu naenda. Na tulitembea makanisa. Wacha ni kuambia ukweli. Tulitembea makanisa mingi sisemi ni gani mali hatujaenda ni kwa muganga lakini makanisa tumetembea lakini katika hizo kanisa sote nilitembea unaenda unaambiwa toa sandaka toa hii fanya hivi lakini wakati nilikuja hapa mtumishi wa Mungu nilijua ni mtumishi kwa sababu aliongea jambo moja tu tumpigie bwana makofi mazuri mazuri maz... There is power in the word of prophecy. Amen. Continue daddy. Yeye alisema kijana atapona. But when I touch you there, I saw there is a boy a corner mentor. Okay. Issue. And God say as I call you out, the issue is over. Hallelujah. I don't know you, even I can't remember you sir. It's a long time ago. This is the issue of today. The Lord is talking today. Aku niuliza kwenu ni wapi? Unashiriki wapi? Utatoa sandaka? Lakini alisema mtoto amepona. Daddy, and you are here to confirm that mtoto amepona. Sasa hata sijafika nitakueleza. Tueleze, tueleze. Kijana, eh, kutoka ile siku walikuja, alika two months. Wakati alika two months, kichwa iliruka. Saine usiku, tulipika chakula, ikawako kwa mesa tukule. Lakini hakuna mtu alikula. Alileta vita mpaka, hakuna mtu anajua. Anasema, anaona watu, wanakuja kupigana na yeye wanamnyang'anya vitu zake na akaanza vita so tuliamuka tukaenda Sharom kufika Sharom wa watu wakasema awe sana hiyo jambo mpaka Kenyata kufika Kenyata tulifika saa tano lakini tulionekana asubuhi saa kumi na moja na hakuna kitu alifanyewa ikabidi rudi tena nyumbani tukaenda tena tukaambiwa tuende lab Labdu tulienda saa saba, resort tulipata six. Na ndi ujui likuwa ni pepo, hakuna ile kitu lifanya ni scan. Hakuna ndawa limpatia na hakuna chuchote walifanya. Walituambia tuende nyumbani, tuende tukenunua mandawa. Lakini ya kituka kule, alileto, alileto na kato nisaizi. Kato. Yani mandawa, kato nisaizi. Mandawa ya kukula. Laki, lakini lifika mwesi wa nane tukasema atutampea ndao kwa sababu hii ni pepo na tukajua ni pepo na tukaombea na tukaweka hizo ndawa kando na tukasitupa tukasema tunataka kuona Mungu na sisi tukaendelea kuomba wapendo wakakuja tukaomba tukaendelea kuomba vile nilikuja hapa Wednesday nilikuwa najua ya kwamba kuna kitu itaenda kufanyika Na watoto walikuwa na niambia, walikuwa naomba, mutumishu wa mungu wa mwone, na hakaonekana. Na ile kitu mutumishu wa mungu alifanya, alimuwekilea mikono na hakakuja hapa. 
akamwekelea tena akamwombea akamugusa huku akamugusa huku nikamwambia naonanga nyoka naona watu wanamkimbiza anaona anaibiwa vitu zake hiyo roho ilikuwa alikuwa na vitu mingi sana akauza yote alikuwa anauza moja 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 alikuwa na fridge mandi frisa vitu za saluni aliuza zote zikaisha akapaki bila ki bila kitu alikuwa na bibi akaenda kwao aliona mambo yameharibika so ile kitu nasema ni hivi wakati mtumishi wa Mungu alisunguka alisema nataka kumkusa mara ya pili aone watu kama watu simit na alimkusa tangu tutoke hapa alikuwa anaamka usiku anapika nduru naona nyoka anaona vitu mingi alilala kama mtoto mdogo mpaka let us stand up and appreciate god be on your feet be on your feet wow 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 can we see the brother in our midst where is he where is our brother where is he ako wapi akuje na mama yake Wow, let us appreciate God better, 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 better. Better, 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 better. What a mighty God we serve in this place. Wow, look at him. He's so cute. He's walking freely. Wow. 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 Who can do this if not God? I wish those who are here on Wednesday you could look at him. Hata akwa na jijua and even you can look at his face. He may change. He was not like this. So daddy, tueleze, ali upande wako ni nani na huyu ni nani? Okay. Huyu ni mpendo wangu bibi yangu. Mpendo. Ja. Na huyu Na huyu huyu ni mtoto wangu first born. Na kuna wengine likuja nao lakini leo hawajakuja. Hebu tusikie kutoka kwa mama. Mama ajuae uchungu wa mwana. Tueleze majina yako kule watoka na ushuhuda wako mtoto. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Teresia Kanini. Nimeokoka. Namshukuru bwana. Unaweza tuelezea nini kuhusu mtoto wako? Eh, mimi niliweza kuja hapa last week but one. Eh, mtumishi wa Mungu akanilocate. Akaniambia kitu ya kwanza naitwa mchawi na niende nisamea watu na mimi sio mchawi na ni ukweli ulikuwa unaitwa mchawi ni ukweli okay mpaka customer walitoroka kazi ni kama karibu nifunge mzee amekaa kwa nyumba ye ni kazi yake ni kulinda kijana sasa ikawa mimi ndio huwa na struggle kile watakula kile tutalipa nyumba ilikuwa wakati last hiyo wiki nilikuwa nimepewa notice ya 80 days niame mzee akaniambia pana tuombe tukaendelea kuomba nikamwambia maneno nasikia iko na uchungu bila mtumishi wa Mungu alisema hivyo nilisikia roho yangu ni kama imeponda kidonda nikaenda ku na mami ni kama watu wangapi walikuwa wanakuita mchawi na nikusikia ulikuwa sikia ama wengine walikuwa wanakuja wanakuface Unajua ukiwa na customers kuna wengine wazuri watakwambia. Kuna mmoja alikuja kwangu akaniambia unajua kwa nini hatunungi hapa kwa hii duka? Nikauliza ni kwa nini? Tuliambiwa wewe ndio ulisababisha ugonjwa ya kijana yako ndio sababu hatununui hapa. Okay. Nikawa na uchungu mwingi sana. Nikawa nalia usiku mchana, nikiosha vyombo nalia, nikienda sokoni kuchukua mboga nalia. Nikibeba hiyo kiondo na lia nasema hii sio maisha yangu. Maisha yangu sio hii. Okay. Bwana nitendee muujiza wako. Amen. Sasa mtumishi wa Mungu vile alikuja akasema na mimi nikasikia nimepona. Na nikaenda kusamea watu. Amen. Kitu cha kwanza uliwasamea kwa njia gani kutoka kwa moyo ama ulikuwa una face ama unawatumia text? Niliongea na mwenye alinipea notice. Niame. Nikamwambia nikamsalimia akaitika kambia nataka kusamea watu kwa yale ambao nimepitia nataka kuwasamea kabisa 
Amen. Sasa kuna mmoja alikuwa kwa nyumba yangu alikuwa anamsaidia. Nilimsaidia kwa miezi mbili alikuwa ametupa kwa nyumba. Tukaona na mzee wacha tumsaidie na 1000. Ande alipe nyumba akae kwake. Kumbe si kujua yeye ndiye atakuwa sasa wa kusambaratisha nyumba yangu. Alipotoka kwa nyumba yangu akapata kazi kwa hiyo building. Sasa ndiye alikuwa anasema huyu mama ni mchawi sio mama mzuri. Mzee kununua hapo. Ikawa kweli kabisa hakuna customer. Unakaa siku mzima uuzi kitu chochote. Unafanya biashara gani? Niko na duka na kibanda. Okay. So daddy, kabla hujaacha kazi ya kumtunza mwanao, ulikuwa fanya kazi gani? Nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya theater. Theater. Yeah. Na ukaacha theater, ukakuja kumtunza mwanao. Kazi ilisha 2018. Kama huyu kijana ashakuja na ako kwa nyumba. Kijana ule anafuata huyu anasomea alikuwa anasomea engineer. Akarudi nyumbani kwa sababu kijana ange aunge kaa na yeye peke yake. Msichana naye alikuwa college town hata yeye akarudi nyumbani. So wote hakuna mtu anafanya kitu ndio nakwambia ilikuwa ni pepo ya kutumalisa kabisa. Wow. So hiyo ndio sababu nilikuwa nakaa na yeye mama anakaa anaenda kwa kibanda watoto wana, wanafanya kazi kwa nduka. Wow. Lakini nduka ilisha kabisa ikaenda flat. Wow. Yeah. Mam, tueleze tu historia kidogo kuhusu mtoto alipokuwa Qatar na aliporudi na after kuombewa. Eh, nashukuru Mungu wakati mzee alikuja hapa akapewa anointing water, faith water. Tulikuwa tunatumia wakati anapigana na sisi. Wakati alikuwa akiinuka kufight na sisi tunachukua hiyo anointing water. Tuna spray tuna piga na yani hiyo nyumba ilikuwa ni kama hata jirani hawezi ingia tulikuwa na fight na yetu na fight na mpaka na cool down hiyo pepo inaisha anatulia sasa akaanza kukula chakula akaanza kumeza sababu alikuwa anasema nyoka imekuja hawezi meza na hii nyoka ikikuja vita inaanza sasa tulikuwa na wakati mgumu sasa ilibidi mzee akae kijana naye arudi kutoka Ingaton akae kwa nyumba msichana akae kwa kibanda na mimi sasa nasaidia ilikuwa wakati mgumu lakini wakati tulianza maombi Mungu alianza akimbandilisha 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 na sasa saa hii hali yake iko aje ah saa hii naona ni mtoto ule wangu sasa ni mtoto wako wow kama kwa siku angeleta furugu mara ngapi kwa siku ilikuwa 24 hours usiku na mchana mimi ni kukaa kwa kiti pale tunamwekea gondoro chini mzee anakaa pale tunamzuia asipigane kwa sababu wakati anaanza violence atapiga ukuta amevunja kila kitu mpaka meza si hatuna meza sahi hatu hatujaweka meza kwetu sahi ukija kama mgeni watakulia kwa mkono kwa sababu meza hakuna vitu zote zikavunjwa sasa hii nyumba inakaa kama lakini nashukuru Mungu sababu so unamaanisha tangu Wednesday mpaka hapa ako mtulivu kabisa ako mtulivu analala anauliza chakula anataka kula hebu tukamsikize Karibu ndugu. Tuombe majina yako. James. Unaitwa? James. 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 <laughs> James, tunashukuru sana Mungu kwa uponyaji wako. Tunakuona uko mzima, uko hai kabisa. Sasa hivi unaisi vipi katika mwili wako? Oh, mimi niko poa. Uko poa. <laughs> wow, let us appreciate God. Labda James ukiwa kule Qatar maisha yalikuwa aje kule Qatar. Yalikuwa tu poa tu. Yalikuwa poa. Marafiki zako mm. walikuwa sawa. Sasa sasa hii una find life ikiwa very easy. Wow. Tunashukuru sana Mungu amekuponya na wewe ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Usijione hivi. You are mir- your destiny is great. Amen. Daddy tunashukuru Mungu. 
you can see when the father is crying, just tears of joy coming out of this lady. Wamesema, this is the time they are experiencing happiness in their home. Oh my God. You can imagine, mnataka kukula, vita zinanza, chakule na kanyagwa, meza zinangushwa, no peace. But just a word of prophecy from the mouth of man of God, from my prophet, oh my God. The boy is here, well dressed, in good minds, oh my God. Daddy, what can you tell God? Sorry. Okay, mimi kile kitu naweza sema, kwanza kuna mungu, amepita mungu. Amen. Na nashukuru mungu, kusimame mbele ya wateule, nikishudia. Ukuu wa Bwana. Amen. Kwa hivyo kama unapitia shida tegemea mungu peke yake. Na katika hii ukonjwa imenileta karibu sana kwa familia yangu kwa Mungu. Hakuna wakati nilia, niliwae omba kama wakati huu kutoka 2017 mpaka wakati huu. Unaomba. Kwa hivyo nilijua Mungu alikuwa na sababu. Tumepitia mengi ikatuumiza lakini Mungu alikuwa anataka tumkaribia na tumemuona. Na dadi umetuambia hawa watoto wengine wote waliacha venye walikuwa nafanya wakakuja kumwangalia ndugu yao. Wako kwa nyumba. Wow. Na utaona hapa Wednesday kama utakuwa hapa watakuja. Walisema hakuna siku atakosa kuingia hapa. Kwa sababu ameona Mungu. Unasema mmoja alikuwa anafanya engineering yeah. akawata. Yeah. Mwingine alikuwa college ya salunist akawata akaacha akakuja tu kumwangalia ndugu yao yeah, meaning it was a serious fi, hata fi ni shalipa uko university hata kwa msichana lakini ilikunywa maji tu pole yeah. god had a reason Amen. and this is the reason yes mam unaweza wa, wahimiza aje wa mama sana sana wa mama ndio huwa wanaumia moyo hasa sana wakiona wana wao hawaendelee salama wako inchi za ngambo no communication what kind of advice can you tell people naweza kusema hivi kila mama anafaa nyenyekee kwa Mungu na aombe watoto wake hata kama mambo ni magumu omba tu siku moja Mungu atakufungua si kujua siku moja eti mtumishi wa Mungu anaweza ongea na mimi maana mimi simjui aliongea na mimi akaniambia nisamee watu kumbe labda hiyo ndio kizuizi na nikaambia Mungu naenda kuwasamea na noti zikaisha hivyo by just forgiving people say there is power in forgiveness and you you are here utaki kuachilia watu utaki kusamea watu from here go and forgive people amen imagine alikuwa amepewa notice of a cat but just forgiving them that note that notice has been cancelled Oh my god. And how is the business? Biashara sasa hii najua ita nini kona imani ikiwa hii imetendeka kwangu itafanyika. Itafanyika mama. Amen. Daddy, what kind of advice can you give people? Okay, ile kitu naesaambia wateule wa Mungu. Ni ya kwamba tumtegemee Mungu kwa kila jambo. Na ukiona jambo kikuja usianze kusema umerogwa ama watu wanakuonea ama imefanyeka nini omba Mungu ni kwa sababu labda kuna jambo Mungu anataka kufanya ndani yako kwa hivyo tukijikase kwa maombi kunyekea mbele zake na kusoma neno la Mungu na tutamuona Mungu kwa hivyo wateule wa Mungu tufanyie Mungu kazi wow tufanyie Mungu nini wow indeed this testimony has carried people's heart even you can look at them some are crying some are so moved umepitia magumu but god had his own time to deliver this boy even i'm sure wherever his wife is he will come back she will come back and i'm sure the next time you come atakuja na wife alikuwa na mtoto watoto wangapi ako na watoto wawili vijana vijana yeah god will bring them very soon amen if the same god who delivered him the same god will bring him back Amen. Thank you so much. This family is so much blessed and your testimony is permanent in Jesus name. Stay in God's word. Be faithful to him 
And any door that was closed is going to be open completely in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Let us appreciate them as they sit down. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. From mental illness, now you can see him moving freely, walking freely. Oh my God. There is God in this place. I wish you saw him on Wednesday. Akwata na jielewa. Akwata na ongea. Ukimuliza kitu aski. But now you've heard him saying his name. Sindio. You see, I, I moved. I moved. People are moved. People are crying. Indeed, there's God in this altar. What are you going through? What are you passing through? If God can restore that mental even yours is too little before God. Take heart, take up your faith. Big God, big faith.